This is R11b. Uh, number 11 and 12 are proofs of the left and the right side of the equation being true. So we're going to use what we know about of our trig identities to prove that the left side is indeed equivalent to the right side. Here we have cosine squared plus sine divided by sine cosine. If I split this up, I'm going to divide each of these terms um, by this denominator. So cosine squared gets divided by sine theta cosine theta. And sine theta also gets divided by sine theta cosine theta. Equals cotangent is equal to cosine over sine. Secant is 1 over cosine. So simplifying further here, cosine squared over cosine, that just leaves one cosine on top and none on the bottom. Here the signs cancel out, so we're left with one over cosine. And we have already proved that the left and the right side of the equation are equal to each other. On number 12, we have cosine theta times secant is 1 over cosine, tangent is sine over cosine, and then we have 1 plus sine theta on the right side. Then here we need to distribute the cosine theta to both of these. Cosine times 1 over cosine is 1. Cosine times sine over cosine is sine. 1 plus sine theta equals 1 plus sine theta. We've proved that both sides are true.